Hi friends, welcome back. In the last lecture, we find out the what the solution of the solution of state equation, isn't it? State equation, and that solution was x t z i r plus z s r. Don't worry, I'll write for you. So <coughs> this x t was z i r means zero input response. The input will be zero. The response we are getting for the initial state, isn't it? So the formula was L inverse s i minus a inverse into x naught, isn't it? This is zero input response. In this. The response is due to due to initial states, no input. What about ZSR? L inverse here SI minus A <coughs> inverse. I'm sorry. Into B into US input parameter also an input, isn't it? So this is your ZSR zero. State response here the state is zero here the input is zero, isn't it? So this was the formula in the classical method for the same thing we see in the classical method. Classical method means we are using this method actually, and method is nothing but the just we are going to convert into the time domain, isn't it? You'll take the L, you'll solve when this when this one L inverse when you will take it. But here, what you will get is this plus here. Yeah, definitely, you will get e to the power a t minus tau b u tau d tau. Okay, okay, perfectly fine. So, in the zero input response, this is the zero input response. This is z as a here. This one, this thing, this is nothing but a state transition matrix. This is nothing but state. Transition matrix. So this is the value. Wait. So I'm taking phi t. The phi t is nothing but e to the power a t only. Okay. In the s domain, if you want to write with l inverse, it will be s i minus a inverse. This is nothing but the straight transition matrix. Straight transition matrix. Okay. चलिए स्टेट ट्रांजिशन मैट्रिक्स हो गया नाउ विल सी द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ स्टेट ट्रांजिशन मैट्रिक्स सो एवरीथिंग विल बी क्लिस्टर क्रिएट टू यू पीपल ओके सो हियर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एसटीएम स्टेट ट्रांजिशन मैट्रिक्स द फर्स्ट वन इज फाइ मींस स्टेट ट्रांजिशन मैट्रिक्स एट जीरो इज नथिंग बट द आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स हाउ सी आई विल चेक फॉर एवरीवन फाइ इज नथिंग बट e टू द पावर a t Let's put phi zero over here. Sorry, t equal to zero. You'll get a to the power zero. That is one, isn't it? So the first is proved. Second one is phi to the power k t. Phi to or phi t to the power k is equal to phi k t. Okay, अच्छा. चलिए देख लेते हैं अपन. So uh, you have to power it, and this is t as it is. So let's power it. E to the power k t. It will become, isn't it? Uh, what I'm doing is e to the power a k t. So what is this? This is nothing but phi k t, isn't it? Instead of t, you have k t. Okay. So this one is okay. Phi inverse phi inverse t. This is inverse e to the power minus a t. This is nothing but phi minus t. Instead of t, you are putting minus. So this one is okay. Now let's come to this phi t1 plus t2. So e to the power a t1 plus t2. How you can write this e to the power a t1 into e to the power a t2. So this is nothing but phi 1t, and this is nothing but phi 2t. So these are the properties of. Uh, I think two or three times we got the questions from properties only. Okay, so this one is very important. Now we'll come to the solution directly. Okay, 
in the state transition matrix the transition matrix over now in the state equation or the state model the exact format or general format it is like this b u and output is nothing but cx plus du isn't it now if you have input zero no input input is zero now i think you people get the idea input is zero means which response you will get zir zero input response you will get isn't it but if your input is zero this type of equation now i'll call the homogeneous equation homogeneous state equation what i'll call it homogeneous state equation remember always always remember this thing homogeneous state equation when when input is zero <clears throat> and input if if input is not zero then non homogeneous equation non homogeneous state equation when when input is not zero isn't it so in the homogeneous case if you will solve the equation okay in the final stage we are talking about the solution of the equation isn't it so when you solve the homogeneous equation it means which solution will you will get you will get zir what is this zir zero input response isn't it zero input response so your input is zero definitely you'll get zir in this case you 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 have some inputs okay in the non homogeneous in this uh, non homogeneous state equation you have input is not equal to zero means if your state is now two things are there zir plus zr is your solution this is one condition yeah definitely but suppose with non homogeneous they mention the state is zero also no initial condition in that case you just only have zsr zsr is pakka because zsr you are getting because of the uh because of you know uh input zero state here state is a zero so the output because of input you are getting is nothing but the zsr so if state is defined as the zero initial conditions are zero and the equation is nhse definitely you will get so two condition you have here we have the three condition don't be panic everything will be makkhan ki tarah clear just wait and watch here is the question given obtain the complete response what is this mean by response what is this complete response response is nothing but the xt you are looking for the xt like we are doing in the differential equation they will give the big big differential equation you will come with the y y is the solution of the differential equation here also the everything is given this is kind of differential equation isn't it but we are calling it the state equation we are going to solve it we are getting xt xt contain two things zir z is r s r z s r correct so the point is you know here if you observe the complete response yes i'm talking about the complete response complete response is nothing but the response which have zir plus z s r both this is nothing but the complete response okay now now if your input is zero you will get zir only if your input is zero you will get this you will get zsr when your input is not zero see which type of system is given homogeneous system is given homogeneous system is given how because no input is given here you can see is there any input no input only initial states is are given see only initial states are given and no input is given so only zir now you know very well that zr to calculate zir is very important because, very easy i mean because this is nothing but this this is our zir if you know the formula if you remember the formula isn't it so this is zir so in this question we have to calculate this only now we do not have this e to the power at some people will do e to the power they will keep this this e to the power at is nothing but we have seen l inverse si minus a isn't it 
and x not total this total i'm writing here so you need to consider si minus a so si minus a it will be minus 1 plus 2 s you'll take inverse of it and you will multiply with x0 isn't it are you getting me so finally you know this is the way you will solve it so so again i'm writing for you xt is nothing but a to the power e to the power at x naught x naught is given in the question that is 1 1 chaliye theek hai okay e to the power you will calculate how l inverse si minus a inverse and that you will multiply with this so you can do it isn't it you will definitely do it i know so if you'll do it what you will get is directly i'm writing here you'll get cos root 2t please solve it take the l inverse then at last you will get this 1 by root 2 sin root 2t minus root 2 sin root 2t cos root 2t okay you will multiply the this thing with this correct so we are heading towards the final answer the complete answer so the complete answer is just multiply it and the o here it, it is the xt we are going to calculate but he, we see wait a minute in this question this is xt he is asking for the complete response that is the yt isn't it so for response we need xt because here xt is given so this xt is the complete response of the this equation transition equation or state equation sorry so the state equation you multiplied this thing what you get is you get xt isn't it so when you will solve it you will get something let's take this you are getting this xt let me do it for you otherwise you people will 1 by root 2 sin root 2 t and here minus root 2 sin root 2 t plus cos root 2 t isn't it so this is your x t isn't it the time domain output of the equation but they are asking for the complete response so response is given by y t the system output response y t so y t is nothing but 1 minus 1 x t you already calculated x t so now put in the equation y t is nothing but already given 1 minus 1 of x t okay now when you will solve this you will get y t is nothing but 3 by root 2 sin root 2 t okay this is your answer okay so it's time consuming but very easy but if you talk about the gate examination they are not asking the question for the complete response they'll ask something else like what what are the roots and uh, transition matrix what is the transition matrix and till zir it's okay now if zsr will come in the equation in the complete response it will be you know semester exam question it will become semester exam question okay here is the given question. Obtain the complete response for the unit step. This is the question for the semester uh, exams. You know, everything is given. Here is the A given. Input also given. Input also given. Initial state also given. Initial state also given. And he is asking for the complete response. Now, the thing is, the solution of this XT is having you know this uh, xt uh, zir plus zsr or gsr okay this now you know very well the format or the formula the formula is nothing but for this e to the power at x naught plus integration 0 to t here a t minus tau b u tau and dt or d tau you can take okay so this is the zsr 
this is ZIR. So for the gate examination, don't worry. They are not asking this entire thing for the gate exam. I'm talking about. Okay, but how to solve it? I'll let you know. Don't worry. So uh, this equation we'll call it equation one. Now one by one we'll find. We'll find first ZIR, then ZSR, then we'll find XT. Then this XT we'll put in this equation. Then we'll find the complete response. Isn't it? Chaliye. ZIR ZIR is nothing but L inverse is I minus A inverse multiply with X zero you will form this then you will multiply with this what you will get is I'm writing over here directly you will do it okay so minus 2 e to the power minus t plus 2 e to the power minus 2 t here is the input zero input response this is your zir let's take equation a now now you'll find out the zsr so i'm doing zsr now the formula i'll write for you l inverse si minus a inverse into b and the b is given don't be panic this is b correct and uh, your uh, input is also given us this this is nothing but 1 by s unit step they mentioned okay will you do it for me if you will do it for me what you will get is I'm I'm writing directly answer so you can at last cross check it 5 e to the power minus t tk 5 by 2 e to the power minus 2 t and 5 e to the power minus t minus 5 e to the power minus 2 t this is the thing you will get there this is nothing but your is that is r let's take it b a and b you will put in the equation 1 okay so here is the equation 1 you will put two values in this equation so you will get something and that something is 5 by 2 3 e to the power minus t plus 3 by 2 e to the power minus 2 t 3 e to the power minus 2 t sorry t minus 3 e to the power minus 2 t this is completely for the semester exams okay not for the gate exam but still i'm doing for you people you know huh huh learn it properly okay Chaliye. now response for yt is given in the question yt is given 0 1 xt xt you already calculated from the equation 1 this is not equation 1 okay this xt you calculated in equation 1 you will put over here and you will find out yt now i do not have the answer for this you will do it i will not give you okay okay so this is for the day in the next unit we will see some gate problems and two more concepts observability and controllability and we'll finish the steady space and we'll start the control uh no no not control it's compensator and controller okay so don't forget to comment and like for new updates